G'day and welcome back again and in today's video we're going to have a look at some more bodge parts and in this one it's actually on a 6138 movement and specifically in relation to the top train plate. So this movement was a non-runner and uh, the keyless works were completely jammed and we'll see why that is in a sec. So I'm just going to look at the plate that came off the watch now so if we just uh, have a look there Alright, so the first giveaway that something is awry is, and let me just get my pointer which I haven't got prepared previously, is that thing there. So that is a screw that shouldn't be there. Now what's happened here is that someone has broken the pin or the pin has fallen out. If we compare it with a plate that hasn't been modified you'll see here that that uh, operating lever is retained by a pin which is just there so that's just a push-in pin and it's riveted on the other side and that's what they're supposed to have and that's come out at some point and the repairer has placed it with a screw now the big problem with this screw, it, it's not necessarily uh, a huge problem from a functionality point of view, it's just the way it's been fitted, so I'm not sure if we're going to catch this on camera, but it, has, it is actually not fitted straight, so it's off to one side, you probably just see it there. Um, I'm looking through a really tiny screen, which makes it hard to sort of see what angle I'm on, but you can see there, it's just a... Yeah, I think you should be able to see that. So it's definitely uh, a bit off to the side a bit, which isn't so great. Now, if it's been fitted tight, I mean, it's still going to work. But the bigger problem is just under here. So the way the 6138 op uh, does hand winding is via some intermediate gears. One of them is just there. And another one just sits in there. And the problem here is that the screw, which has been, <clears throat> which is part of the bodge repair, has gone straight through there, and it's actually just sitting a bit above the flat surface of that uh, cutout. Now the problem with that is, is that it's actually going to interfere, interfere with the gear that sits right in there, and that's just gonna, just going to jam up the entire keyless works. So you can just see that screw there. And if this repair was done better, it wouldn't be an issue. But unfortunately, what's happened here is that that hole is now staffed and I can't put another pin in there really that is going to stay in. Well, I mean, I can put another pin in. I could machine one up on the lathe and press it in. But the problem is, is that the, uh, the risk of it coming out again, even after I riveted it back in, is relatively high just because the amount of torque that is on that part so I'm not necessarily filled with confidence uh, by that so I think the better way to go is just to replace the plate and if you look at the bottom side of the plate on this guy here which is the unmolested one you will see that the rivet just um, add a bit of an angle here so it's a bit tricky. The rivet is actually just sitting below the surface there so it's not going to interfere with the uh, intermediate wheel that goes in there. So the prudent solution here is just to replace the plate because really anything I do is going to have a high risk of breaking again. So there's not really too much point doing it. Alright, so I'll leave that about there, I think. So, thanks for tuning in, and that's just another insight into uh, bad repair work. So, I'll just um, bring the other plate back, and you can probably uh, compare on the video. So, that's the bodge plate. <laughs> 
and uh, yeah you can see it's just sort of tipping up there no worries well just tipping up as in it it's just sitting up above the surface which is going to interfere with the gear all right uh, so thanks for tuning in again and uh, we'll see you back here soon